Hi everyone, this is Lisa Marie from Artistry by Lisa Marie and I am so excited to be coloring in my Christmas squirrel. I drew this Christmas squirrel a couple days ago and I was loving these lights. Uh, they are just so much fun and I was super excited to color them in. So what I'm doing is I am actually using my pen pastel first and it goes on so smooth. It makes this fantastic sort of aura of color just by going outside the lines. You know when you see the Christmas lights and unless they're white, uh, they have that great glow of color and it just seemed like such a fun idea to color in these lights by going outside the lines and uh, just giving them that nice soft glow and that nice variety of color. And of course, Pan Pastel, fantastic for going on smooth and blending gently into the paper. With the red, I did have to be a little more careful just because red is such a striking color and that red is so bright. I had to spread it out a little bit more, but I mean, it looks great and the color still blends beautifully with the white of the paper. Even when I go over the squirrel, you can see I push right outside those lines. So it'll look like those lights are glowing, the colors are glowing right on the squirrel. Next, I took my fine point eraser uh, and I go around the edge of every Every single light. I want to give it a little bit more of a voluminous look, a look like it's three dimensional. So I'm giving it some whiter edges. I'm letting the white of the paper uh, help me out a little bit. And of course, pen pastel, fantastic. You can erase it. And I love that you can erase pen pastel. You can add, you can cut and subtract. Uh, it's very, very useful. Naturally, right over the top of that, I'm going to go for my color pencils because I'm a huge color pencil fan. And uh, these, again, these lights, I'm trying to make them look a little bit more three-dimensional. So I'm going to go with a dark, medium, and light. Uh, dark, medium, and light red. Uh, for the, the yellow lights, they're already kind of light, kind of bright. So I just go really more with the orange and then let the light of the yellow show. But also with the green and the blue, you're going to see I will use a dark, medium and light and i'm really trying to go for that three-dimensional look uh, for the light bulbs themselves and by contrast that'll really help with that outer glow that i first started with uh, it's a flat glow it's just a bit of flat color you know sort of hovering around each light bulb uh, so the three-dimensional bulb look look will really really help just bring the drawing to life then of course I had to make it pop a little bit more so I pulled out my paint marker and just adding a little bit of a white uh, sheen to the bulbs just so they look like they're a little bit shiny. And I just go right around the edges. I don't interfere too much with what I've already done with the uh, colored pencils. Just want to give them a little bit of a shine. Next up, uh, I'm going to be working on that squirrel, and the squirrel is sort of the anchor. Visually, I wanted the squirrel to be more earth tones. We've got a lot of color, a lot of movement all around the squirrel. So I went with a you know nice warm pan pastel brown. Um, I think it's burnt sienna that I used. I'll write down all the colors for you in the video description so you don't have to guess what colors I'm using. Uh, but pen pastel and grayscale just go hand in hand so well. Uh, it goes smooth right over the grayscale drawing, uh, gives it that nice sort of soft underpainting look. And then I can go right on in with my color pencils. Again, with grayscale, I like to go with uh, dark, medium and light that's where how i start planning my color scheme uh for the the squirrel fur and then i'll push it a little bit darker and a little bit lighter maybe i'll do a dark blue or a super dark violet just to push the shadows and then for lighter i'll go with some lighter yellows or a light cream or white uh but right off the bat uh it'll be some you know just brown shades that are dark medium and light and I apply my colors with the fur line. So you see that the fur is all going in the same direction. I already have lines drawn on the paper with the squirrel and I apply the color in the exact same direction. That keeps the, the look of the fur, that texture of the fur, um, it maintains that. So you get a little more sense of realism by going with the pencil lines that are already on the paper. There you can see I took some of the lighter yellow. I think that's canary yellow. I'll write it down for you. Uh, the, and then I like cream and just really trying to blend my layers of color together, 
really get a sense of volume. I wanted that texture and the earthy tones of the squirrel's fur to just have a little bit of life in them. Uh, again, just because it offers this nice contrast to the lights that are all around it. There you can see, I think that's a dark violet I'm using. Really just gonna push my shadows just a little bit further and that'll help it really pop off the page as well. I love those little squirrel feet. Everything, oh, this whole drawing was so fun. It was so fun to draw this. Uh, okay, a little bit of white pencil. Really wanna bring some more highlights into the fur, especially with all the lights all around it. I mean, you really wanna give it a sense of the highlights, a sense of color and light all around them. So I go with my uh, painter marker again, white lines, not all over the place, just where there's highlights. I want to add to that sense of texture. I want to emphasize that there's highlight going on all over the squirrel. And again, still going with my pencil lines that I already put down, keeping that fur, keeping the direction of the fur have a few flyaways there but otherwise it's you know it's just trying to add to that sense of realism I always have to go back and push my shadows just a little bit further it's a personal preference then I actually take the colors that I used in the light and I'm adding a little bit to the squirrels fur just because I really want that fur to catch the lighting and the coloring of the lights themselves I used the same reds that I used in the red lights to uh, color in that hat. I wanted a little bit of visual consistency. Uh, aesthetically, they just, you know, just worked better to just go with the same shades of red. And that's the same blue that I used in the blue lighting, just being a little more visually consistent with that hat accent. Next, I thought the black outline of the lights just didn't work visually for me. Uh, the contrast just really wasn't. Uh, suiting uh, my personal preference. So I took some metallic ink jelly roll pens, and again, I'll write it all down for you, and I just traced the outline of the lights, and that softens them quite a bit. Uh, and also because it was metallic ink, you know, it's got a little bit of a shine, a little bit of a shimmer to it, and that just adds to the look of the lights. Little dab of gold at the base of every single light. It just made sense to me. A little more blue because I want the light to really be uh, reflecting color on everything. Next, uh, you know, that dark black cord that was connecting all the lights just didn't work visually. So I took the light blue metallic jelly roll pen uh, and I just traced over it. And it was so fun tracing over all those swirls. I had a blast doing this. And because it's ink and pen pastel and color pencils, they all play well together, could go right over the squirrel's tail with the ink and it just wasn't a problem went on super smooth i did want the cord to look three-dimensional i have three-dimensional lights a three-dimensional squirrel i didn't want the cord to be too flat so i took a dark blue pen and i'm just going next to the light blue that i've already laid down i'm not going over the light blue i'm going next to it and that's helping to give it a little bit of a three-dimensional look Normally, uh, grayscale, you know, you go, I, like I always say, dark, medium, light, but when a line is this thin, you don't need really dark, medium, and light. You just need a dark and a light, and you're going to get that three-dimensional look. I just had a blast going over all these little loop-de-loops. And again, the three-dimensionality of everything else in the drawing just really helps offset that soft glow from all of the light bulbs. Next, I just wanted a little touch of color in the background. Actually, I wanted the edges to be darker, so it really looked like the center of the drawing was in light. So a little bit of green, a little bit of the blue. It's an earthy tone, just goes complements well with the squirrel being the main character here. And just a nice little touch of color to help it pop. But otherwise, it, the squirrel is the centerpiece, and it's a great Christmas coloring page.